Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna go ahead and install that winch to the trailer like I said in the first video. If you don't remember that, go ahead, go back to the first video, check it out. It talks about the Barracuda, the plans that we're gonna do. First thing first, we gotta do the winch. Now before we do any of that, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe right down below. You know where it's at. All right guys. So we already have the winch and the battery kind of dry fit. Um, the next step is to go ahead and mount the winch plate. Uh, so to do that, when you get under the trailer, uh, see what we're working with down there, then we'll be able to go from there. Um, I believe it's metal, so we're gonna have to do some type of mount with this wood and get that thing strapped down. All right, so as you can see, it's metal with the wood flooring. So we're gonna have to figure out how to mount it um, to make sure that that thing can hold three, four thousand, five thousand pounds. So after getting underneath and reviewing what's under there, um, as you can see, the tie downs are also underneath. Um, it's a kind of a pancake sandwich mounted, um, which I'll show you right here. If I can get a so right here, so it's basically this piece of metal bolted down. And that's what gives it its strength. So we're kind of going to do the same concept uh, just with wood over here and that should be enough to winch a car on and off in the rare occasion that something's broken. All right so we're all dry mounted so we're just going to go ahead and drill and see where we're at. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead. I'll get underneath and see where we're at. You're right next to you're right next to metal. Huh? Well yeah, well you're on it, but you're also right next to it. You have to go towards the front of the trailer. There you go. All right guys, so we have the holes drilled. As you can see, also on this side. So we just need to run to the hardware store, get the right bolts, then we'll cut this wood to make the sandwich plate underneath and on top, and then we'll be done. All right guys, so we got the hardware, so we're just gonna go ahead and start cutting the wood to make the sandwich plate, and then we'll get it installed and we should be set. All right, so we already got the wood all marked up, uh, getting ready to make the cuts. Gonna go ahead and let my dad do that since I gotta handle the camera, so you guys can view this. Okay, so I just measured the bottom. Uh, six by 12 is what I want. I'm gonna cut two of those, uh, and then that'll be all the cutting we need to do. Then we'll just drill holes and bolt it up. All right, so we got it bolted in. Uh, just gonna go ahead and tighten down the battery cables, and we should be good to go. Okay, so it's all bolted in. Uh, let me go ahead and underneath, uh, go under the trailer, show you what the uh, sandwich plate that we made looks like. Uh, pretty simple, just wood. Let me drill straight through uh, and bolt it in. So as you can see, right there, 
I uh, just kind of copied the idea for the mounting that was already there for the trailer for the car. Uh, copied the same idea, came over here, did that on both sides. Um, so there's one right there, then there's one over there also. Oh. I'll head inside real quick, uh, show you what it looks like in there. As you can see, there's a little spacer for the wood. Uh, then we put the bolt straight in, got it wired up to the battery with the battery box. And there's power. So that pretty much sums it up. It was a pretty easy install. If you guys have any questions, go ahead in the comments. Um, I'll try and answer them as quickly as I can. It's a pretty straightforward install. Um, just two wires, negative and positive, and you're pretty much good to go. So with that said, go ahead and subscribe because I'm gonna just keep saying that until you guys do it because like only like 10% of you, 10% of you guys are actually subscribing. So, sorry, I'm out of breath. That was kind of hard. <laughs> um, only, I think the only thing now to do is just go ahead and put the MR2, uh, strap it up and see if it holds. So let's go ahead and do that. There you have it. So that's about all I got for this video guys. Uh, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I'll get this one uploaded. Uh, and uh, gonna be announcing that Volkswagen bus build tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned for that.